In Benue State residents are decrying the disconnect between government and the harsh reality of soaring living conditions in the country. As prices skyrocket, particularly for basic food items, they urge for tangible actions over mere rhetoric from authorities, especially in Nigeria's renowned food basket state. Jimmy Atade has more. Mary Alexander, a resident of Benue, reflects on the unprecedented economic crisis group in Nigeria. Never before has she witnessed such a confluence of high inflation, currency depreciation and widespread hunger. The current tumor marks a stark departure from the stability of years past, leaving residents like Mary grappling with the harsh realities of economic hardship. As food prices soar, residents highlight the harsh reality where basic needs like shelter and clothing are relegated to secondary importance in the struggle to afford daily sustenance. Even now, I went to one of the schools those my two other small children to go and beg that my school fees, I will pay complete the school fees at the end of the month. Uh, because I pay small, but I cannot pay at once. It is not easy. It is not easy. Go to the market and say, you can even see a tip of yam is 2,000. The brain was what we produce yam. If you go to the market now, you see it. You see a bag of this dry corn. I think talking about some the seven thousand. So it is difficult for us to live. Uh, recently, I was talking about um, the cost of a bag of aku at Yakel Market, and as at the time I was complaining, it was five thousand four hundred. And those women told me that the price was going to go up because people were buying this cassava right from the ground. And as at the last time I spoke with my mother last week, she told me that it was 8,000. And this is very painful because people's sources of income have not changed like in the, in the last four or five years. So it is what people were using to fend for themselves. Let's say in 2020 that they are using to fend for themselves with the current budget 2024. The prevailing economic hardships have prompted many family breadwinners to abandon or cut down their responsibilities, leading to concerns among analysts of a looming humanitarian crisis if left unchecked. How do we survive it? How do families survive? For family of three, four. It's so pathetic that now the cost of living has started making men to even run away from the house, abandoning the wife to the fear of these children. And one painful thing is that, how can a mother, a mother who does not have enough resources, who has somebody to work and help as a husband, once they were leave her with responsibilities. One, we have abandoned children, we have soldiers on the streets, we have mother hawking over, mother going to be, and things. yet they go to village where they can't buy things. In Benue State, residents are hoping for quick government intervention to alleviate their sufferings. Jimmy Azande, Trust TV News, Makodi.